Charles Krauthammer. He's in Washington tonight. Charles, I want to start with the Syria situation. Now that this uh, diplomacy has essentially crumbled with, with, with Moscow, and now they have very sophisticated anti-aircraft weapons going into Syria, it seems like this is an escalation of what was a very bad situation already. It's an escalation because the Russians are utterly determined to achieve their strategic objectives, and Obama has no strategic objectives. We heard the State Department say, we have tried this reasonable approach. Yeah, they applied a reasonable approach with an adversary in Putin whose assumptions about this war are totally different. Obama believed that you don't solve problems like these uh, through force. They can't be. There's no military solution. It has to be done by diplomacy. That would be great if the other side had the same thought. Unfortunately, Putin assumes and is correct in assuming that some civil wars have a military outcome. Spanish Civil War in the 30s had a military outcome. The American Civil War had a military outcome. And this idea that you solve it by diplomacy and withhold any application of pressure is simply a fantasy. Five years ago, when the Civil yeah. War began, we had the advantage. We were in control of the region. We could have put the Syrian Air Force out of business by destroying the airplanes and hitting the airfields. That's all we had to do. No war, no invasion. The Russians weren't there. We did nothing. Now we have no assets. The Russians have all the assets. That's why we walked away, because the, the diplomatic approach has been totally shown to be bankrupt. You know, it's an interesting dichotomy here, because as the president is talking about how there really aren't solutions, he says, uh, militarily in Syria, he's stepping up bombing in Libya. He is increasing uh, the troop numbers and likely an operation uh, to take down Mosul in Iraq very soon with the Iraqis. Uh, so on one side, he's stepping up his presence. On the other side, he's saying it's not possible in Syria. I think in most of these instances, He's trying to prevent a calamity like the fall of Saigon on his watch. He doesn't want to see it happen in Libya. He doesn't want to see our side lose in Yemen. But these are stopgap measures. There was an escalation in Yemen. As you said, the sinking of a ship from uh, um, anti-ship missiles from the rebels, that's a huge escalation. There's escalation everywhere because they understand Obama is so risk averse, nothing will be done between now and the end of his presidency. So if you're the aggressor, as the Russian, the Iranians, Hezbollah, and the Syrian government is in Syria, you move, you strike now. Their strategy in Aleppo is to kill everyone, is to kill everyone in the civilian rebel areas, hit the hospitals, hit the water pumping stations, hit everything. They know Obama will not lift a finger, and they have no idea what the next administration will do. So why not? We may hear more about that tomorrow night in this debate.